Hi guys, Jason from Mr. Physio. We do a lot of things in front. We walk forward and we do things in front with our arms and we even wear a mask in front like this guy here. So because of all these, our weight is likely to move forward, which means our body kind of leans forward. You'll be surprised how much of your weight is placed on the front part of your feet unnecessarily. Take a picture of yourself and draw a vertical line from the outer side of your ankle. Uh, in general, your ankle, your knee, hip, shoulder, ear line has to be in the same line. But maybe about 80% of people will find some parts of their body ahead of that line. Mostly, those parts include your hip moving forward and your shoulder rolling in like that. If that's the case, you're not going to be able to use your core and hip muscles properly because when you move forward like that, your core muscle is in a you know lengthened position. And it was mentioned many times in my channel, if you put a prolonged stretch on your muscle, your muscle is likely to get weak. On the other hand, your hip muscle sits in a shortened position, but that will make hip muscle weak as well. Because normally your muscle works this way. They have to be able to be stretched out first, restoring elastic energy, and then contract. But if you put your muscle in a shortened position, they're going to get tight. And tight muscles, can't be stretched out as much as they should. And now a vicious cycle starts. Your hip muscles, you know, getting tight will push yourself forward even more and your core muscles can't manage that. They're going to get, you know, stretched out, getting bigger and bigger. Aww. So today I'm going to show you a simple breathing technique that will push yourself backwards. This is basic but very important exercise. Doesn't matter how you breathe in, try to breathe out through your teeth or at the same time, you have to draw your belly button in towards your spine. So I'm going to show you. So what I'm trying to do with this breathing technique is to narrow the space where the air exits. When we breathe out, our diaphragm goes up. But if you narrow the space where the air exits, the air remains in your lungs for a longer time. That means your diaphragm moves slowly. So we buy the time to increase the abdominal pressure by squeezing our tummy. And that increased pressure within our abdominal wall will push our spine backwards. This is how you use your core and breathing to better place your weight. Of course, this is not a normal breathing pattern, but if you keep practicing, I'm sure your muscle tone on your core will improve and that improved muscle tone will automatically help maintain the abdominal pressure. So once those functions get better, you don't need to breathe like this all the time. But actually I, Practice this kind of breathing while walking or even running and also recommend my patients to practice this kind of breathing when doing, you know, rehab exercises or postural correction exercises because this is using our deep core muscles, including our diaphragm. So I'm going to finish with five more reps.
<laughs> See you next time, guys. Rip safely.